Lots of interesting tidbits about Harvard. Yeah, uh, for sure. What do you think? I like it. You gonna apply? For sure. It's always. Let's crush. Getting ready for the big speech? Yeah, kind of. Or this is the uh, semi-big speech. The private speech. Lecture. I'm just thinking what I, what I should put on. But can you, in the future, if not, then you very likely have to take it. But if you think, yeah, I can, I, I'm going to get into better spots, then you should skip it. At some point, when it gets so profitable, and you still think you want to skip it, then it's maybe that you're too scared. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm actually more excited than the previous talk because it's more about some some mindset related topics which I consider more important than the strategies itself because the strategies everyone can learn but actually maintaining a strong mindset in order to become successful in poker is much more difficult than just applying the strategies, you know. Remaining calm and relaxed when things are not going so well and not tilting and punting your stacks off I think is what most players struggle with and then actually and it end up failing. So giving advice for a strong mindset that not only helps you become successful in poker but also in business is something I truly enjoy talking about because it's, I know I, I know based on my experience that it's really difficult to master. So really looking forward to this talk here. Yeah. So um, about three years ago he started a business called Raise Your Edge and he used it as a way to share his knowledge and his love for the game for people around the world. Please welcome me uh, in joining uh, Ben. Hello everyone, so you can also call me Ben. The toilet? Toilet. The wash, washing room, right? You say. Oh yeah, the washroom. Nico? Washroom. The bathroom or the washroom? Yeah. <laughs> Eastern Standard. Struggle of in the beginning because Zuckerberg doesn't get into one and then yeah. yeah. It's a fight. We can cross here and uh, that was here. That was that's that. That's uh, we that should club. We should take a picture here. First year freshman houses, so residential houses where you live, and then there's a dining hall that we'll see later where you, you know, go to. Yeah. Um, so there's you know, plenty of college students that, in general, um, you don't really learn how to cook because you go to private school yeah. as a kid and then you come to college and uh, they cook for you and then you get out of college yeah. you work all every day so you order all your food yeah and then when you're 30 you still don't know how to fry an egg so oh, i see i see for which they would pay any price superiority was illusory in real, so John Harvard is the man who founded the school by donating a large sum of money for the school to be built. However, even though this statue is called the John Harvard statue, it's actually uh, designed after the sculptor who built the statue and not actually John Harvard because we, they didn't have a picture of it. Oh, wow. So if you look at the toe, you can see it uh, has a little bit of a different coloring. Yeah. So some uh, tour guides would say 
you should touch it for good luck. However, um, there are it's it's a bit of a controversy there, so I'm not going to recommend you do it. Okay. Uh, so you're those, uh, they're also, you know, for those guys, tools, they might be able to give some aid, but they can't guarantee you know, Oh. Hey! Oh. Things generally with people, like friends at school. You know. So I want to try for a couple years. They like the backspin too. Huh? Oh. Commitment. <laughs> Clean it up. <laughs> Little deep. Little deep. Yeah, so it's, it's specifically it's for the law school. <coughs> so you have the college that are all the undergraduates, all the bachelor students mm -hmm. or bachelor yeah. degree level, at the time and then the law school are for all the JD or LLM, so yeah. post undergraduate or graduate studies yeah. in law. Yeah. Uh, those are the things. Consider law. That to me. So yeah, <laughs> this the uh, Cambridge City Fire Department uh, and Harvard actually lobbied the fire department not to have this big alarm if something goes on um so after like harvard essentially paid the money for them to install this quiet alarm that would sound inside but be completely sound insulated outside as to not wake up the students who live across uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the dormitories however they realized that because of the traffic uh when the fire trucks come out they have to turn on the sirens to get out to the road <laughs> yeah, yeah. so all of it was for nothing Jeremy, your skating leg starts sizzling. Yeah, so it, it, during the Vietnam War, there's a lot of protests. <laughs> so essentially, um, this big library, the Weiner Library, uh, the largest collection of academic, uh, or the largest academic library in the country, and the second largest country, or library in the in the U.S., just behind the Library of Congress. Oh, wow. It was. It's called the Harry Elkins. Uh, library or memorial library uh, after a guy who actually died in uh, in the Titanic or when the Titanic crashed um, so his the story goes that he had a famous book um, and sort of he got in the lifeboat but he realized when he got in the lifeboat with this bomb and died that he forgot his famous book on the boat so he jumped out of the lifeboat and tried to swim back to find it his dad followed him and uh, they both perished Wow it's a very sad story um, so his his mom decided to, uh, in his legacy, uh, donate to build to build this library and then build a, a private study in there, which we can check out in a bit, um, where there were three conditions for, for the building of the library. They had to build a study, water the flowers every day, and never alter it. Uh, unfortunately, they only water the flowers once a week, but <laughs> at least uh, some of the wishes came true. Yeah. Lots of interesting tidbits about Harvard. Yeah, uh, for sure. What do you think? I like it. You can apply? For sure. It's always. So the reason why this one is now covered in a bulletproof case is because um, a couple of years ago someone tried to rappel down from the ceiling into the study uh, and steal the book. And I'm, I haven't verified it, but as the legend goes, he tries to bring the book up with him to go back out the, up, up out there, but as he's going up, the book is too heavy, so he falls, dropping the book on top of himself, falling unconscious and being found the next day. Uh, it's the Lampoon. It's a, a comedy club on campus, sort of social club, uh, where 90% of the Simpsons writers uh, were at. Oh, cool! Uh, I've been told, as well as uh, Conor O'Brien, who was there, the president for, I believe, his sophomore and junior year. And from what I heard, they come back sometimes as well and sort of check it out and have some connections. With us. <laughs> I just, nice. Definitely. Okay. No worries. Thanks for the uh, tour. You got it. Very much, uh, very informative. Ha happy to help, help out. And again, I enjoyed uh, Ben's talk, so nice to uh, get to give back a little bit. Cheers. Hmm? Big Harvard guy now.